Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joshua Campbell Torrance, and I'm the executive director here at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. Today, um, for our History at Three, we're back at the Silas Dean House, and we're going to talk about uh, lighting in the 18th century. Hi, I'm Rich Malley, the curator here at Webb Dean Stevens, and we're here in the Silas Dean House. One of the interesting things about life in the 18th century was the, the ability or inability to get lighting inside your house. Now, we're so used to being able to flick the switch and put on an LED or something that we don't think about what it took to provide illumination for things like reading, writing, or many other types of household activities. So there were a variety of lighting sources. Um, for Candles were a very common lighting source. And candles could be made from beeswax. It could be made from tallow, which is a fat rendered from uh, beef. Um, if you could afford it, you might have spermaceti candles made from uh, uh, sperm whales. So there were a variety of different, you know, uh, lighting devices. A simple handheld lantern like this, which could be carried from room to room. A candle in a, in a you know, in, in a fancier uh, candlestick. And of course, there was always the illumination from a fireplace. Now, interestingly enough, there were these devices that were called spills. And a spill looks like a unicorn horn. It's basically a wooden taper that you could use to light from the fireplace fire, carry it over, light a candle, light a lantern. And basically, these were made by using a special kind of plane that provided, that produced a curled wooden um, shaving that, 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 that was a perfect way to bring you know, flame from the fireplace to a candle or a lantern or some other lighting device. So a little bit more work involved in flicking a switch, but it worked. Thank you very much, Rich. That was really fascinating. And for those of you out there that like me thought, hey, that kind of looks like a Harry Potter wand. No, they did not use these as uh, lighting Lumos uh, spells, but no, indeed, uh, interesting spoils and a really interesting history lesson on lighting in the 18th century. Uh, we hope that you can join us tomorrow, uh, History at Three. We look forward to seeing you then. And of course, we look forward to seeing you back at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum in person when we can be open again. Until then, be well, stay safe.